nigga kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his wife. Diamante Kendrick, someone that you recognize. 2015. Did anything happen that you investigated involving either YSL or If Gang? Uh, YSL member uh, Martinez Arnold. And uh, Diamante Kendricks was arrested after um, a high-speed chase where they basically were going to retaliate against if games. Objection, false speculation. I'll stand objection, look at the phrase. Who were the persons involved in the incident on October 1st, 2015 that were in your investigation connected to YSL? Martinez Arnold, AKA Duke. Diamante Kendricks, a.k.a. that guy. And were they investigated as victims uh, or were they investigated as perpetrators? They were investigated as perpetrators. And are both of them connected with YSL? Yes. Is Diamante Kendrick someone that you recognize in the courtroom today? Yes. Would you tell the jury where he is seated and an article of clothing that he is wearing? He's the gentleman in the black sweater with the white collar in the front row. Your Honor, would the record reflect that the witness has identified Mr. Kendrick? It shall. Okay. You also spoke about Jeffrey Williams earlier. Is Jeffrey Williams anyone that you recognize in the courtroom today? Yes. And would you describe where he is seating, sitting and what he is wearing for the record? The tan and red sweater with dreadlocks in the second row. Okay. And who is he seated between? I don't want me to call hair colors today, so Mr. Steele and I believe Mr. Adams. Your Honor, would the record reflect that the witness has identified uh, Mr. Jeffrey Williams? It shall. Thank you. Were Mr. Kendrick and Mr. Arnold um, found with any weapons on April 1st, 2015. Yes. What kind of weapons were they found with? I believe a handgun and a assault rifle. Okay. Through your investigation, Council has just uh, reminded me, I said April 1st, and I did meet October 1st, 2015, um, as it relates to Martinez Arnold and Diamante Kendrick. Was that October 1st that they were found with the assault rifle? Yes. And the handgun. When you reached out to Detective Racy, uh, what information um, did you seek to provide him that you thought would aid in his investigation? That A, I was there, and B, I kind of had an idea of the suspects involved. And did you take any steps from that point to aid or assist Detective Racy in gathering any evidence of the April 26th shooting of Little Wayne's bus. Yes. Now, before April 26th, and even further down to October 1st, 2015, were all of the ev ev were all of the incidents except the shooting itself of Little Wayne's bus? Did they all happen? Did you investigate them as happening in Fulton County? Yes. What was the first thing that you did to try and assist Detective Racy in 
investigating the April 26, 2015 shooting of Little Wayne's Woods. I tried to identify uh, the individual I knew as Pee Wee or Roscoe, uh, locate his government name. By government, you mean his given name? His given name. Do you remember what it was that made you want to investigate Pee Wee in relation to the April 26, 2015 shooting of the Little Wayne bus? Basis. I stand the objection. Why did you want to get Pee Wee's given name? Yeah, I'm gonna ask the same question after this question. Yeah. Why and motivation are the same thing? We'll answer. Oh, go ahead now. Your Honor, uh, for foundation, background for the jury, and information as to what in his investigation was relevant for a Cobb County case. Oh, I'll overrule the objection at this time. Why did you seek to learn Kiwi's given name? Because I was there and pretty much involved in the incident, and I figured that Cobb County wouldn't be aware of everything that was going on. With To them, it would have just been another random shooting. Uh, with By providing them with background, they can understand uh, pretty much what led up to the shooting and the motivation of it. All right. Did you talk to detect or to Officer Tyrone Finney at all about events that occurred on April 25th and 26th, 2015, before the Little Wayne bus shooting? I stand the objection. Did you know at the time that you talked to Detective Bracey, um, any information about why Officer Finney wanted you to stop Pee-wee's car? What did, I don't understand the question. Did you testify about anything Officer Finney tried to get you to do as it relates to Pee-wee's car? Yes. What did he try to get you to do? He tried to get me to stop. All right. Did you find out why he tried to get you to stop? Yes. Did you learn that information prior to talking to Detective Brace? Yes. Why did he try to get you to stop it? Because he saw an assault rifle on a seat. Yeah, I'll rule the objection, sir. You can answer, sir. He saw an assault rifle on the seat. That's why he was telling me to stop the car. Now, did you realize at the time that he tried to get you to stop it, um, that there was an assault rifle? No. No rules, sir. And what did you determine he was given name to be? Jimmy Winfrey. Did you do anything to find out anything about the car Mr. Winfrey was in on the night of April 25th, 2015? Yes. What did you do? I actually followed him on Instagram. And so I went to his page. Now, would you tell the jury why you were following Jimmy Winfrey on Instagram? I knew him in passing for years, and uh, I followed him on Instagram. Was that out of personal interest or in your capacity as a law enforcement officer? Uh, a little bit of both. I never had any problems with him. Um, he's actually, I've known him since 2005. So anytime I saw him, even the night of this incident, I actually shook hands with him. Did you find anything that um, you felt was pertinent to Bracey's investigation on Jimmy Winfrey's Instagram? Yes, a picture of the uh, white Camaro. And what what was the nature of the picture that you saw? What? It just gave a description of, I, I guess he had just got the vehicle, I'm not sure. And he, like most people, he was showing off his car. Did you provide that information to Detective Brace? Yes. What else did you do? Uh, once my partner located Mr. Winfrey, uh, we learned that he was on probation. Uh, 
So we reached out to his probation officer, and she basically...